Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christie, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you some built in numeric functions in SQL. So let's begin. Numeric functions are mathematical functions, and we are going to see some of the built in ones in SQL that you don't have to make, but you can uh, use whenever you like. And if you want to make a built-in, uh, if you want to make a custom function uh, that you can use in your SQL queries on your own, then you can uh, see my video on PLSQL functions, where you will learn how to create a function of your own in uh, SQL and then use it in order to write SQL queries. So let's begin with numeric functions. Uh, the first function that I'm going to talk about is the absolute function. And once again, just as in my previous video, I am going to use uh, a table called dual, which is a built in table available in SQL. And you can use it whenever you want to pass your own values to test something out. So in this case, I want to pass my own values. I don't want to use a column from the table. Uh, however, you can do that if you wish to. You can use a column from the table, but you can also pass your own values if you want to. So let us start with the absolute function. We'll write a query, select ABS. So absolute function, what it does is if you pass a negative value, it will convert it into positive value. And if you pass a positive, it will remain as it is. So absolute function is just the same as um, in mathematics where you write modulus and you put two, two lines, uh, uh, you know, one line before the number and after the number. It's the same thing. So uh, you, you have to write function ABS and pass a value. Let's pass a negative value from dual. And you can see it gives me a positive value. And if I try to pass a positive value, by now you know that you can use up and down arrow keys on your keyboard in order to navigate and uh, fetch the queries that you have previously written and not type everything again and again. So I just used an up arrow key right now. Now I've passed five, which is positive. So it will return to me a uh, five, which is as it is because it's not negative. Now the next function is the square root function. So it is, uh, you can type select sqrt, the function is sqrt, pass a number, I'm going to pass 25 from dual, and you'll see it gives you the square root of 25, which is five. You can pass any type of uh, value here that you want, even if it's not a perfect square, in fact, uh, let's just try and pass 26 and you'll see it, it gives me a value that is not a perfect square here. It gives me, uh, because 26 is not a perfect square, it gives me a decimal value too. So it just depends on the type of value that you pass. Let's quickly clear the screen. And the next function that uh, I'm going to talk about is the mod function. So mod function is not modulus function in mathematics. It is, uh, it is, however, the function that gives you the remainder when you divide one number by another. So in this case, when you divide a number, usually you get the quotient, but the modulus modulo function gives you the remainder. And to access that function, we write in this manner mod a mod is the function, so let's pass 7, 2 from dual. The first value is the number to be divided, and the second value is the number that's going to divide. Let's hit enter, and it gives me 1 because when I divide 7 by 2, uh, the remainder is 1 and not 0. So if I pass some value like 8, then the remainder is going to be zero and that's what I will get as an output. 
The next function is the sealing function or the seal function. The seal function uh, gives you a sealing value for a number that you are passing. So for example, if I am passing, this is how you write seal. And if I am passing 5.6 from dual, then it will give me the sealing value 6. And it's not just true for 5.6, but even if I uh, say type something like 5.7, no, uh, sorry, 5.1, which is much less than 5.5, which is the middle value, it is still going to give me 6. So anything that I type after decimal, it's going to increase that much. So if I just type 5, uh, I can just uh, show you even by typing 5.0, then it's going to give me 5. So anything that I type after decimal, which is greater than 0, it could be even just uh, 0 0.1. Even then it's going to convert it into 6. So that's how the seal function works. And then just like you have the seal function, you also have the floor function that does the opposite of seal function. This will give me five. So um, in the floor function, uh, no matter how much higher the value is, for example, here, if it is nine, then also it's going to give me five. Here, if it's a zero, it's going to give me five. But any value, even if it's 99999 after decimal, it's going to give me the lower value. So that is what the floor function does. The next function I'm going to talk about is the round function. So the round function works like this. Select round and now I'm going to pass a value, say 23.54 from dual. And you can see it uh, rounded it up to 24. Now, in this case, I did not specify a second parameter saying uh, by how much I want to round it up, but I can specify it. So if I write comma one, then it's going to round up the value by uh, one decimal. So it depends on the parameter. If I pass here instead of 0.54, if I'm writing 0.57, it will round it up to 23.6. So this one over here shows by how many digits I want to round it up to. Uh, let's try with a couple more digits here. And this time I want to round it up to three digits. And you can see it does that. And because the next digit is four, that is why it uh, keeps it 573. If I make the next digit five, then it's going to convert it into 574. So that is how the round function works in uh, SQL, the round built-in function. The next function we are going to talk about is the power function. So here you need to write down select power and then you're going to pass two values. The first will be the number itself. The second will be the power that you want to apply to this number. So let's say I want to raise it to two, then I'll pass two from dual. So what this does is it uh, gives you seven square. So seven square is 49 because uh, seven times seven is 49. So that's how it works. You can raise it to any number you like. You can make it three and it gives you 343 because it gives you seven cube. So that is the power function in SQL. The next function that I'm going to show you is the exponent function. It works like this. You will write down select exp and then mention a number, for example, three from dual. So this is a now, if you don't know what, what exponent does, first I'll just show you exponent uh, like this. So this is this is ex exponent. This is a uh, it is usually written as a as a lowercase e, a small e in and it's used in several physics formulas. And it 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 shows you 
a value of a constant which is e and it's an important constant in mathematics and physics the value of e is 2.718 so what you see here it's not uh, this is the value of e the actual value but when i'm writing a number anything other than 1 in this position and let's say i'm writing 4 in this position then what is uh, actually happening is it gives me a value raised to 4 so in other words uh, it is raising this uh, value of 4 to this exponent given and that is why i am getting this uh, this value we can uh, i can approximately show it to you so select uh, by using the power function so in the power function let us uh, try and pass this value 28183 along with um, some 4 from dual and you can see it gives you uh, approximately the same kind of answer so this exponent function in sql does the same work as power function but here in the power function uh, we always have this value that we can add on our own the first parameter in exponent function the first parameter is fixed it is e uh, it is e the exponent and four is something that you raise it to so it's actually e raised to four whatever you pass here will be uh, the exponent of e so uh, that's how the exponent function works in sql it's a built-in function and once again there are lots of uh, numeric functions available built in inside sql and you can use any of those uh, because this is it's not limited to the eight functions that i showed you here and you can go ahead and read the documents of sql oracle and you'll find many more functions to be used and once again if you would like to create a function of your own you can watch the plsql function uh, video that i have created uh, where you can create a custom function and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.